What's going on guys, what are you And today, we're gonna be doing some trapping here. We're gonna be doing coon and coyote trapping. I don't think I've done both at the same time, but I usually do one or the other, but we're, this time we're gonna do both. I'm gonna set two coyote sets and three um, coon sets. We're gonna set one of the coyote sets around this area. And we're gonna set another one that way. And then both of the coon sets are gonna be that way. I always catch coons over there. So we're gonna start setting the first coyote trap. All right, y'all, so we're gonna start with the first set. We got our traps here, we got our trapping hammer here, so just gonna start bringing these leaves back. And then we gotta dig out our pit for our trap. Doesn't gotta be too, too deep, but it does need to be deep enough to conceal the whole trap. And it's gotta have enough room in here for the trap. Because once they're set, they get pretty big. See, that might be deep and wide enough. It's not very flat, so I am gonna have to bring it out more. So we're gonna go ahead and just set our trap. All right, these traps aren't very fancy, so it's kind of hard to get these on a hair trigger. Gotta be a tad bit deeper. Oh, uh, that's pretty good now. Just gonna go in and get pretty deep. Close to two feet, maybe. Now a little bit deeper. There we go. He's good. Bait in there. Using this. It's uh, made from Bobcat. So, just in case you were wondering, I did smell this earlier. I regret my decision. So just grab a nearby stick. Oh man, it looks like chili. It does look like chili though. All right, just kind of get that into the hole. Just enough, just use enough to get the smell. We're just going to throw that in the creek right there. No evidence to the coyotes. We're gonna use our sheep's wool, imitate part of an animal, imitate fur, so you just kinda put it right on top of the hole. And I did have an old deer barn that's in these woods to, the, to a spine at the back of there. Yeah, I know. Okay. Shoot! Can you set it? Oh, I did. I forgot it was set. All right, well, we're back from that experience. It actually didn't hurt. It just kind of stung as soon as it hit it. Then it kind of had like a, then it just kind of like hurt for like two minutes, but not like really, really bad. So we're gonna reset that and not be stupid. Don't grab the pan. Cause I grabbed the pan to try to do it instead of grabbing the handles because I totally slipped my mind that I already said it. Much flare. There to set traps after one experience. There we go. All right, y'all, so now we get our peat moss and our sifter. Try to cover everything up. There. Box urine and... All right, well, there's the first set right there. And on to the next set. All right, guys, so this is the next spot where we're going to be setting the next set. Uh, they do take a ball to set, so I'm not going to record this one at all. So I'll see you guys when we're done with this one. All right, guys, so I had to slightly change location from there to there because the ground was, like, way too soft and the earth anchor was just pulling right out like it was nothing. So I had to change it to here where it's a lot harder ground and the earth anchor shouldn't come out. So we got the bait right there, got the bone with some meat, and then I got the trap set there. So I'm going to start setting the coon traps. So I'm not going to show me setting any of the coon traps, just so 
I'll just show you guys the locations that we got them in once I'm done uh, setting them. You guys stay tuned. Set one, complete. All right, set two, complete. All right, set three is finished. Right by our chicken pens. So I don't usually catch anything here, um, but I just thought might as well try. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning once we start checking the traps. All right, y'all, it is the morning and we are back to check our traps. Don't think there's one at that set. Just died. Oh my God, I got a fox. No way. Oh my gosh. Let's go, dude. No way. Man. I, I was expecting a coyote, but I did not expect a fox, dude. Look at him. That's cool. Man, I would I thought we were gonna see a raccoon first, but dang. <laughs> He's all caught up in this old fence, so I'm probably just gonna have to go and take him out. I'm just gonna try to get some more shots of him. Need to Dang. <laughs> Looks pretty big too. His head's very big. All right, well, we're gonna go ahead and take them out and keep moving. I don't think I got nothing in this coon set, which I don't. <laughs> no, nah, there ain't nothing in this one. It must have been a squirrel taken off. Oh, there's where the trap is. Nothing's moved on it, so just assuming that nothing set it off. I gotta find my, oh, the coon trap I think is right down in here. Oh, the bait's taken. Look at that. There's, that could have been where my feet were actually, but the marshmallow's gone and it looks like some of the outside bait's also gone. Man, how do we not catch a single coon, but we <laughs> catch a fox, which is like one of the hardest animals to catch. All right, guys, so we just got him back up to the house. We didn't end up catching anything else, so that's all right, because that made everything worthwhile, because never would have expected to catch a fox. Um, but this is a old fox, too. He's losing a lot of teeth. Yeah, this guy, he's an old fox. His tail is super gray. You can't really tell it on camera, but it's pretty gray. And I don't know if that's an indication of something or not. Uh, but overall, man, this makes all that time setting the trap, getting my finger caught. That was the trap that I caught my finger in. This thumb. It's fine, by the way. I can move it perfectly fine. But overall, amazing. I'm super glad that I caught this. I never would have thought I would have caught a fox but there we go so if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to hit that like button and subscribe we'll see you guys next time peace